hey guys welcome back to my channel so today's video um i want to talk about my five star reads of 2023 now so far to kind of date i have read 31 books in 2023 um i'm filming this on the 20th my reading count will increase by the end of the year i don't know whether any of the books that are on my list will be five star reads um maybe this will go up at the end of december maybe start of january so maybe i can just add it in editing i'm going to start off at the start of the year work my way more recent i've got my ipad in front of me yeah so first five star read of 2023 just so happened to be my first book that i finished in 2023 and that is the road trip by beth o'leary i don't have the book with me just because i read it at the start of the year so it's currently kept at home um so yeah i really enjoyed this basically it's about two characters they are both going to a wedding, separate cars, one of the cars breaks down so they have to all go in the same car and it just, it's dual timeline so they go back into the past, find out like what happened, like what went wrong and then it's kind of obviously second chance, basically it's the second chance romance. Um, I loved it, I love Beth O'Leary's books. I have another one of her books on my TBR cart. I've got another where it's currently out, but only in hardback and the paperback comes out in like April or sometime like that. So I do plan on getting it then. The next book that was a five star read for me was The Minute I Saw You by Paige Toon. So going back to the first book a moment, do I really think, do I think about this book? No, but also yes, in the sense of like, if I was to write a book and like what book would I write and I would like draw inspiration from it um in terms of like dual point of view dual timeline second chance romance that kind of thing anyway the minute I saw you by page two this is a romance between a professional photographer and an optician or like an optician assistant she works in the optician sector and basically he comes in as a customer they meet i think it's they can't stop thinking about each other they eventually just like hang out like socially with like her friends and his friends um and eventually they just fall for each other but he usually works in like amsterdam and i think there's like a complicated ex there or something i don't know anyway they fall in love don't know what type of romance i would class it as do I think about this book? Ten, in it, um, of the book itself, no. Um, whenever I think about the fact that I need to go into Specsavers to get glasses, I think about this book because I think of this really fancy opticians that's in the city, or like on the outskirts, and because it's beautifully designed and the opticians in The Minute I Saw You was, class uh, was described as that. When I was reading the book, it made me think of the like really nice designed opticians here in the city and also because it is literally set in this city that i'm li living in so how could i not you know how could i not think about it anyway but overall the actual book i don't think of unless sometimes i'm driving like i think of more of a location mentioned in it because of the way i drive when i like go home or if i go to the works <coughs> Like when I go to like my nana's or my family home. Also I'd like to point out when I was going through my Goodreads list of like read this year um, to figure out like the books. There were, there was the odd one where I took it down to a full stars and Goodreads because I looked at it and was like, I don't think I actually think you were a five star read. Yeah. Then the next book on my list was a reread and it was Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. I literally read it in one sitting like i reread it in one sitting first book is so easy i think it's literally like 350 pages and it is so easy to get caught up in it we're literally following harry potter who is now an orphan and he finds out he's a wizard and he goes off to hogwarts 
and it's just following his school year and there's like a little threat to his life and um such a good book i love harry potter and the philosopher's stone i think i think it's my favorite book i think it's the easiest book to read um partly because it's probably slightly more edited i'm currently in the middle of the goblet of fire and i've listened to most some of it on like audiobook because it is so chunky but the audiobook is like 24 hours and i'm like i'm literally not sitting here for a full day listening to this book the next book on this list is the viscount who loved me this is the second book in the bridgerton series i listened to this on audiobook i loved this i think part of it is because of the narrator she is such a good narrator she makes the like she changes the way she speaks based off of who's speaking so she'll make her voice way deeper for the guys she'll like do the like giggles if a character giggles and it is so good like i actually found myself like giggling with it i did mention it in a video when it was probably like a reading wrap up video then next to five star on my list was powerless by lauren roberts i freaking love this i cannot wait for the sequel which comes out in july of 2024 i don't know when i'm uploading this um yeah i loved this i know so many people don't like it because of how similar it is to the um hunger Games series for me i wasn't interested in the hunger Games series because it's more dystopian and i wouldn't class this as dystopian I don't know whether it's because it's got this like magical element um and so it's just like feels more like medieval it gives me a little bit more like merlin vibes a little bit that's how i would think of it like more merlin setting but as in like the games which like hunger games yeah and then but like make it magical that's what i think of it as being like um more than just because I've not read, is it Red Queen or something? I know that it was like, if you love like Red Queen and like um, Hunger Games, it's like inspired by both of those. Payden, Kai, loved Kai. Cannot wait to see how the story develops because you do not see mm, the ending. Mm. Honestly, loved this. Cannot wait for it to come out, like the sequel. I will be getting it it's my one of my anticipated reads like anticipated new releases i think it's probably the only one so i'm not making a full video on it next book on my list okay so i'm gonna cheat with this one on a good reads i rated it five stars but in my review i put 4.75 i'm counting it i'm actually counting it so it's just red white and royal blue by casey mcquiston the only reason why it's not the only reason it's a 4.75 is because I felt like the end, like the last like third just dragged a little bit too much. I loved it, but also it could have been a little bit shorter. Um, but yeah, I loved their relationship, how it developed. Yeah, the last third, it dragged, it kind of, everything that was in it was necessary, but also at the same time it dragged. Hence the reason why it's like 0.25 lower. But I'm including it in this video because honestly, it's basically a five stars at this point. Anyway, those are, how many five stars was that? Okay, so six out of 31 books were five stars. Um, So that's basically a fifth. Um, So yeah, like a fifth of my books were five stars. Um... I think my more recent books are definitely like five stars because I have found myself it could just be because they're physical books and I've seen them on my like shelf but I find myself thinking of them more. I actually think about powerless even when I can't see the book well to be fair I can see like the edges and I'm like I look at it and I'm and I just I know which book it is um and I think about Red, White and Royal Blue because I really want to watch the like movie um, of it that's on Amazon Prime. Those are my five star reads. I know that some people have a lot more five star reads, probably because they've read more. 
um but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know what your five star reads were for 2023 um because i know that we all have different tastes and i will see you guys in my next video bye guys